I can't begin to thank you enough. With this, there is finally hope for my business again. I wasn't exactly my most polite to you earlier. I really am sorry. I swear I'll reclaim my lost fortune. <laughs> Welcome. The final act in this drama would not be complete without you two here as audience. You better believe it! We're the ones who've been doing all the work! What exactly have you been doing all this time? Uh, well, naturally, I used the time to immerse myself completely in Legend of the Shattered Halberd. I managed to finish the book off, and I enjoyed every minute of it. Divine Halberd and Ominous Sword, Mir and Wei Yang. The way the story develops across the first five volumes, nothing short of exemplary. But the sixth volume? Oh, words fail me. How blessed we are to have such an author grace our world with such works. And this is related to Gentry Meltsai, how? It's not. But when something surpasses expectations to such a degree, one must show one's appreciation. And it is thanks to your help that everything will play out just as I had foreseen. Why does Paimon have to be the only one who doesn't get what's going on? No fair! Uh, so go on then, tell me, what are we doing here? And what's this big dramatic showdown thing that's supposed to happen? Think about it. Gentry Mautsai goes searching for Core Lapis all over Liyue Harbor, and he doesn't find a single piece. He panics. Without the goods, he can't fulfill his contract. And if he can't fulfill his contract, he can't stay in good standing with the Fatui. He hears a rumor that the Feiyun Commerce Guild is the culprit. Panic turns to disbelief. Jinshi Mautsai is a hugely powerful figure in the business world. Never has anyone dared to target him like this. So regardless of whether it is revenge or a swift resolution that he seeks, he is certain to... So it was you! You were the one sticking your necks out for Chang the Ninth! Speak of the devil. I went everywhere trying to find someone selling Core Lapis before I realized the Feiyun Commerce Guild had been on an acquisition spree. Core Lapis is hardly a rare mineral, and yet suddenly the stocks dry up, just like that. Explain yourselves. What is the meaning of this persecution? We are not persecuting you, but protecting another, one to whom I am indebted. Upon witnessing an injustice, it is a perfectly normal response to rush to the aid of he who has been wronged. Was it not one of your own men who said, this isn't over? <clears throat> you clearly don't know what's good for you. I won't beat around the bush. Master, if you please, seize their Corlapis! Time to act. Uh. Uh. Huh. 
body and mind. You're open. Body and witness the power of Gugwa. Time to act. Well hunted. Rain outlines your fit. Time to act. Body and mind. Let me weave you a verse. Impressive. You are no commoners. To continue this fight would be to incur greater losses than I can accept. Their strength is almost spent. Finish them off. The Core Lapis is almost within our grasp. Might I remind you that the Fatui's relationship with you extends to business matters only? I did not lend you my men to have them stir up trouble at your beck and call. W w w what are you saying? Master, everything I did, I did with only one thing in mind. To complete the order! Then figure it out by yourself. D d don't go. Wait. Master, wait! My lord, what are you doing here? Are you hurt? Thanks to this valiant young man, I am unscathed. My lord? You? You are the heir of the Feiyun Commerce Guild? Indeed, my liege. I am Xing Chou, disciple of the Guhua clan and second son of the Feiyun Commerce Guild manager, and I make no secret of it. Drats! I've been played like a fiddle. Gentry Maozai. Coercion and intimidation are hardly the attributes of a respectable businessman. The problems that your business practices have created, I have sought to resolve through mine. I shudder to think what the Fatui will do with you if you fail to provide their core lapis. You meddling swine! Well, go on. Tell me, what will you sell it for? Since you asked Chang the Ninth for a discount of 70%, Let's fight fire with fire, shall we? Three times the market rate sounds fair, no? How dare you subject me to such viciousness! This is a malicious and calculated attempt to run me into the ground! Deep breaths now. This is a simple decision. Will you buy or not? I... I, I <clears throat> fine. Have it your way. I'll find the money somehow. Happy now? On behalf of the Feiyun Commerce Guild, I thank you for your business, and hope you will continue to do business with us in future. You? Funny-speaking, book-reading, guhua-geeking, Tsing Cho are the heir of the Feiyun Commerce Guild? So that massive stash of Mora you let us burn through in a day, that was from your private vault? T'was but a paltry sum. I got to make a very sound investment while putting Gentry Maltzai in his place. A classic two birds, one stone situation. You're too kind. You have valor in your heart, and that is worthy of admiration. Yikes! Paimon's been calling you Guhua Geek this whole time! Paimon read in one of these martial artist novels that when rich heirs like you get angry at someone, you have their arms and legs chopped off! <sighs> Paimon's toast! And sorry! Very sorry! Please don't hurt Paimon! Calm down. 
Since you can fly, you hardly need your legs anyway. Ah! Save me! Save me! This is not a drill! Repeat! This is not a drill! Jokes aside, I have the two of you to thank for this successful resolution. Really, you were a huge help. Meanwhile, Legend of the Shattered Halberd was positively riveting. Much obliged if you could return it to Chang the Ninth for me. I did nothing, and hence deserve none of his gratitude. The two of you, meanwhile, though strangers to the circumstances, stepped in and saved the day. To have made such valiant and chivalrous friends is more than enough for me, my liege. My lord, uh, forgive the intrusion. It's about your father. Please inform my father thusly. I have averted a disaster and earned a sizable sum of money in the process. Might this meritorious act compensate for my prior transgressions and earn me a few more days of freedom, perchance? Legend of the Shattered Halberd speaks of a domain that I should very much like to investigate. For all your clever long words, the fact is you're just the lazy bones who doesn't want to work! <laughs> what if I told you that a reward awaits you at Cheng the Ninth's palace and not just his gratitude? A reward? Hmm... Well, that sweetens the deal somewhat. Ah, it seems whatever I say, there's no persuading you to stay. Oh, I didn't realize you weren't aware. Thank you in advance for returning the book for me. I will take my leave now. May we meet again, fellow merchants.
Finally, you're back. This morning, the pawnbroker showed up and gave me back my entire collection. I'm positive that you must have been behind this once again. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Please don't say that. You have no idea how much this means to me. The Chang family was a prestigious household in Liyue back in the day. Unfortunately, after I took over the family's affairs as heir, a series of business setbacks devoured our fortune. Since then, I've saved for years, hoping to restore the house to its former glory. In the end, everything was riding on this Corlapis deal. Were it not for you, this barren wasteland in the mountains would have become my final resting place. Wow, that's the second heir we've met in this town. I'm sorry, what? Uh, nothing. Oh, here's your book back. Wonderful. Legend of the Shattered Halpert. I was beginning to think that Guhua rascal had swindled me. Do people really look down on the Guhua clan so much? Actually, the art is centuries old and was once held in high esteem. But now it has faded beyond recognition. To instigate a revival, you need to inject some fresh blood, but it's hard to attract budding young talent to a dying art. And so it becomes a vicious cycle. In any case, Guhua kids these days. Take that young rascal Xingqiu, for instance. For all his talk about repaying kindness with kindness and whatnot, what has he done to show for it? You're the one... Ah, uh, what does it matter? Anyway, you wanted the Liyue volume of the Tevat Travel Guide, didn't you? I'll fetch it for you. It's yours to keep. In addition... Here is but a small token of appreciation for your huge generosity. My ore is sold, and my treasured books have returned. I can't believe it. Uh... What? What was that? Paimon saw something fall out. Oh. Huh. Nothing, nothing. That little rascal surely isn't. <laughs>